there is one place in America where clueless white people should fully expect to get a pass from the tsunami of black mob violence and black criminality and black racial resentment directed at white people, it should be Starbucks. Does anybody remember Race Together from a year or so ago? The president, the founder and the CEO, chairman of the board of Starbucks, Howard Schultz, he did he took this campaign into his stores. Reminding everybody that black people are relentless victims of relentless white racism all the time, everywhere. That explains everything. And for one or two days, they actually told their baristas to go out and tell the customers all about the Starbucks philosophy on black victimization, perpetual black victimization. Yeah, well, that didn't last too long. The, 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 the safe space, the, 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 the preaching didn't last too long. But I'll tell you what picked up is the fellas decided, hey, if all the white people in Starbucks are going to be so accommodating to black criminality, if they're going to be so down with the cause, then we should accommodate them and visit this criminality upon them because they won't mind. They will understand that one, it's not happening. Two, white people do it. Two or three white people deserve it. Mostly three. That's what we have in Atlanta. That's what we did a story on a few months ago on YouTube. I'm going to repost that, that video, a separate video, where we really get into what Starbucks did, where we really get a chance to see the CEO talking about this, how he's in such denial, deceit, and delusion about the safety of his own customers. So let's see what's going on in Atlanta and pay careful attention to the words in Atlanta. They kind of tell you what's happening, but they kind of just run over it and they use these really oblique words. Uh, but let's, let's just check out Atlanta. And then they were trying to run me over. I was holding on to the hood of the car. A violent ambush at a popular Starbucks as laptop thefts at coffee shops have ramped up across Metro Atlanta. And in this latest case, police say bold robbers actually tried to run over the victim. And police say this is the second time in a matter of weeks one of these criminals has turned violent. Fox News' Jacqueline Schultz joins us live from the Starbucks in Buckhead and has a warning from the victim tonight. Jacqueline? Yeah, this warning affects so many people who take their laptop to a local coffee shop, want to sit down with a cup of coffee and do some work. The victim, though, in this case says he doesn't know how safe it is to bring your laptop in public anymore after police say robbers almost killed him. They could have killed me for a laptop. And the robbery victim has the wounds and bruises to show for it. This is the second case like this in a matter of weeks. Criminals snatching laptops from local coffee shops turned violent. And then they were trying to run me over. I was holding on to the hood of the car. The victim asked us not to show his face or say his name. He says he's glad he wasn't killed Tuesday night when police say at around 730, a man went into the Starbucks on 2900 block of Peachtree Road Northwest and brazenly snatched the customer's MacBook Air laptop. Top. I ran after him. Police say the man jumped into a getaway car. The victim tells me that's when the crooks drove at him. So I stood in front of them without thinking, so I held onto the hood. And then as they were driving off, um, I uh, slid off the hood to almost to Peachtree Street. Police say they tried to go after the suspect's white Honda Fit, but it got away. In the past few weeks, throughout Buckhead, Atlanta, nearby metro cities, and even nationwide. Fox 5 has told you about this growing crime trend at coffee shops. He leaned back, gave me a good swift kick to the jaw. And a different violent encounter back in December at another Starbucks a mile away on Piedmont Avenue, where the victim told us he got kicked in the face. Police always warn victims, it's never safe to try to get your things back. Starbucks would only say in a statement, we take great pride in ensuring our stores are a safe and welcoming place and always encourage our partners, employees, and customers to be aware of their surroundings. Now that my laptop's gone, I don't want that to happen again. Worry about the public safety. And police describe one of the suspects as a 5'4 man with orange blonde dreadlocks wearing green pants. Wow, I love that statement from Starbucks. Starbucks is committed to providing a safe environment for all of its customers. No, Starbucks is committed 
to letting its customers know that black people are relentless victims of relentless white racism at the hands of people who buy coffee for $4 a cup. That's what Starbucks knows. That's their company philosophy. They spent a lot of money convincing people of this philosophy just a year or two ago. I made a video out of it. I'm going to, I will put a link to that video in the show description on Minds.com. But I have also just posted that video here on Minds.com. If you really want to see what's happening at Starbucks and how they have invited this ridiculous level of black violence, criminality, mayhem, and chaos into their stores, and now they... And now all they can do is throw their hands up and say, oh, well, we didn't know, we didn't really see that one coming. You got to check that video out as well. So I'll see you over there. But in the meantime, if you're at Starbucks, don't do what Howard Schultz. No, no, you, no, you have to know. That's the advice. Do what Howard Schultz does and did. Don't make the black kids angry. <laughs> <laughs>